Hey, welcome to Pause on Purpose. And we are finishing up day four today of walking wisely in the last days. And we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, we've covered three parables so far. But now we're going to get in one that is, um, well, well, let me let me let Jesus <laughs> get into it because I'll just, uh, I'll step in it if I don't. I'm in Matthew chapter 25, and I'm in verses 1 through 13. And let me, let me read it from the New Living Translation. Jesus write, uh, states, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten bridesmaids, who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. Five who were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for their lamps. Now, Oil in this parable probably means the Holy Spirit, could also mean the Word of God, but definitely the Holy Spirit. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, they were roused by the shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and meet him. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, we don't have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was locked. Later, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back. Believe me, I don't know you. So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. Some sobering words from our Lord Jesus. Now, let's give some background on the first century Jewish wedding. What happened is uh, the son always lived in the father's home, and he would build on to the father's home a house that would be fit for him and his new bride. When that home was finished, his father would say, okay, go get your bride. Meanwhile, it was the bride's job to be ready at any day, any time, when the, bride, the bridegroom could come and pick her up. Now, at this moment in the parable, the bridegroom had already gone to get the bride. And... The bridesmaids were supposed to be the attendants, like in normal weddings, right? And the oil represents the Holy Spirit. And these are people that know Christ. But we find out that five are foolish and five are wise. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, the bridegroom and the groom, um, I'm sorry, the bride and the groom are now on their way back to the new home. And on their way back, the bride, uh, the bride's attendants are supposed to trim their wicks and light the way so they can find their way home. And the only ones that had enough oil for this to happen were the five wise bridesmaids. The unwise even asked for oil from uh, the wise bridesmaids, but they didn't have enough and said, you're going to have to go buy some or go get some. And they went and they got some and then they came back and we hear, we heard the sobering words. Now there's a couple lessons here. Number one, at the end of it, it says, at the end of this parable, he says, you too must keep watch. There's our word again. Keep your head on. Notice what's happening. Don't go to sleep at the switch. When you read the word of God, it is to be a transforming experience in our lives and not reading it just for information, but reading it for transformation. We learned that yesterday's parable. You need to go back and listen to that again. Please do. That's the first lesson. The second lesson is what about these unwise bridesmaids? Who are they? Well, if we take it to understand that the oil represents the Holy Spirit and they don't have any, when the bride 
the groom comes back. What does that tell you and me? It tells me that they were never saved in the first place. That they were void of the Holy Spirit. And even though they went somewhere to get more, they never really had an inner transformation. The Spirit of God was never indwelling them, whereas the five wise ones had the Holy Spirit. There was transformation, and the Lord took them home to heaven with him when he came through. Very sobering words here, and I want to be careful, because this is, we're dealing with eternity, eternal matters. Be careful. If you have never trusted in faith by Jesus Christ, you've never trusted him to be your Lord and Savior, do it today. The urgency is of the essence. You cannot go through eternity without the oil of the Holy Spirit in your soul. What do I mean by that? Without the indwelling person of the Spirit of God in you, you are not sealed for the day of redemption. So when Christ comes back, he will leave you behind. And that, beloved, will be a sad day. Don't go there. Accept the grace of God by which you are saved through faith in Jesus Christ. We're saved by grace through faith. Put your faith and trust in him and only him. Do that today, beloved. Those are the two lessons. Walk wisely today. If you are a wise bridesmaid, good. Keep allowing the word of God to transform you. Keep allowing the spirit of God to work in your life. If you're not, if you're trusting in something else, or if you're trusting in your good works, or if you're trusting in the fact that your parents baptized you, or you're trusting in the fact that uh, a minister gives you communion, and uh, that communion gives you life. There's nowhere in scripture where it states that. Don't trust in rituals. Seek a relationship with Jesus Christ. Become a wise bridesmaid. Let your lamp be filled with oil by the Holy Spirit. And walk wisely in these last days. And then go with God. Because he's with you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.